Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this video, the only thing that I'm going to be doing is I want to show you guys how to properly organize your project into different layers because if you don't, then trust me, everything is going to be very confusing and complicated as you keep adding more stuff. So, what I want to do first is separate this background layer from the layer where we're going to be adding our, our other stuff. Now the reason I want to do this is because if you think about it, our game is going to have this one background that's going to stay the same no matter what. It's also going to have a bunch of other stuff such as our player, the enemy, the bullets, all of that stuff is going to be moving around and interacting with each other. So it's good to separate these in different layers so you don't accidentally, you know, um, you aren't accidentally able to shoot your background layer and blow it up and end the game or something stupid like that. So if you go over to your layers panel, which is right next to your projects plan panel right here, you can see that we have one layer so far. Now this is of course the background layer. So what I want to do is actually rename this. So if you select it, you can click on this little, um, I don't know if it's a pen or a pencil, but it says rename layer and just rename this to background. So it's always good to rename your layers something other than layer 0, layer 1, layer 2 and this is just so well obviously um, it's less confusing you guys you know know the benefits of renaming layers don't have to explain it and another thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and right now make a new layer now in order to make a new layer just click this little plus icon and that adds another layer on top of the background layer so pretty much anything that we add to this layer is going to appear on top of this instead of behind it because if we put it behind it we wouldn't be able to see any of the players or enemies and stuff like that so again make sure that layer 0 is on top of the background layer and I actually wanna rename this one too so make sure it's selected rename this one to main and hit enter again not the uh, state just the word and uh... well there's a state in America called Maine, in case anyone didn't know that. Most of you guys did. But uh, anyways, the next point is this. So Maine, as I said, this is going to be the layer where everything is moving around. Our players, our, en our enemies, our bullets, they're all going to be interacting with each other. This background layer, however, we don't ever want to touch again. This is perfect right now as is. So in order to ensure that we never accidentally edit this layer, we can go ahead and and can click this little lock icon next to it. Now as you can see it goes from a lock that was open to a lock that's closed. This basically means that this layer is now uneditable. You can't accidentally click it and act actually if you try to select it now you can't. Can't select it. Sorry Haas but that's what we want. So now since we can't select that make sure you have your main layer selected and we're going to be working on this layer for the continuation of these tutorials so it's also very important to make sure you have it selected because um, it's whenever you have a layer selected it's called the active layer and any objects you add to your game are going to be added on the active layer as you're going to see in a little bit so now on the layout what we can do is we can double click to insert a new object now the first thing that I want to insert is just a mouse object so if we scroll down we can see that it has a couple different forms of input now input is just the way that the user can tell the game how to do something so you can use a gamepad such as like a Nintendo controller Xbox PlayStation you can use your keyboard and mouse you know what those are and this touch is actually for um, like iPods and iPads and um, Android phones touch like that so the first thing I want to do since we're just you know working with our computer is add a mouse object so just select that and hit insert now basically our game can take input from the mouse and also another thing I want to do is add keyboard input so again double click this scroll down to input select keyboard and hit insert so right now what we just told this game is okay you're gonna be getting information from the mouse and also from the keyboard so just be ready for that whenever we move on and another thing I want to point out is unlike before whenever we added the texture and we had to give it a position like zero zero and give it a size 
we don't need to do that whenever we insert a mouse and keyboard object because these aren't physical objects you don't place them in a physical location like you would um, a character or a block or a coin you would just you're pretty much just telling the game that is what kind of input you're accepting so just remember that there are different types of object objects and that's what objects we just use so now that our game knows that it's going to be accepting um, input from the mouse and also again from the keyboard let's go ahead and start adding all that cool stuff those characters those uh, enemies those bullets explosions all that stuff we downloaded and that stuff is called sprites and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what a sprite is it's not the soda and also why we need them in the next tutorial so now that our game is ready to accept input I will see you guys next time